Russians adopted new method to protect aviation from Ukrainian drones. They build protective hangars. Hangars are being built at Russian airfields to protect aviation. These shelters are designed to prevent attacks from drones and cluster munitions, as well as to hide the exact location from satellite reconnaissance. Aviation expert Konstantin Krivalap reported this on the Freedom TV channel. A fairly simple idea. Such systems are used, by and large, all over the world in the same desert when it's hot to stand in the open sun they put up such arches however the main idea is to hide the location of the aircraft he said Krivalap explained that it would be quite difficult for drones to accurately determine the location of the aircraft under such a canopy. A machine-guided drone using elements of artificial intelligence allows you to identify and distinguish targets. By comparing several pixels of the image, it can be established that this is exactly the target that needs to be hit. It's impossible to determine this with hangars. He noted, the expert also told us what other threats such Russian hangars could protect against. Do you know how meshes protect against FPV drones when the kinetic energy of the device itself, which carries the charge, is not enough to break through the mesh? The hangar will protect against this. That is, an explosion will occur on its surface. If ATA CMS with cluster warheads are fired at this airfield, the energy of the warheads will be extinguished on the hangar shell itself. This is all. It seems to me that the main thing is to hide the place where the planes are from satellite reconnaissance summed up Konstantin Krivalap. Let us recall that the Ukrainian military center reported that at the Marinovka airfield in the Volgograd region, 300 kilometers from the border, Russia began to build protective hangars. The United States conducted an operation test launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile Minuteman 3 on Tuesday, the Space Force Base has said. The ballistic missile was launched from the Vandenberg Space Force Base along the Pacific Coast in Santa Barbara, California. An operational test launch of an Air Force Global Strike Command unarmed Minuteman III intercontinental ballistic missile launched from Vandenberg Space Force Base on Tuesday, June 4, at 12.56 a.m. The purpose of the ICBM test launch program is to validate and verify the safety, security, effectiveness, and readiness of the weapon system, according to Air Force Global Strike Command, the Space Force Base said in a statement. Minuteman 3 is U.S. nuclear-capable intercontinental ballistic missile deployed in the 1970s. In 2015, the ICBM arsenal underwent modernization that prolonged Minuteman 3's service to 2030. The United States has about 400 Minuteman 3 ICBMs with a single warhead each, according to available public data. The Minuteman 3 has a length of 18.3 meters, weighs 36,030 kilograms, has an operational range of 14,000 kilometers and an accuracy of about 240 m.